Okay, this is from a movie about Noah's flood, and I, you know, I've been following this whole thing, and I do the mud fossils. This is identical to this right here. You see this? You see this all scruffy looking stuff coming down here, and then the nice smooth stuff? That's because on one side of your finger, there's a really red blood, and the other side is the dark black that turns into a real solid material. The red always stays sort of sort of um, particulated. It's not really a matte like this, how smooth that is. It stays in this... You, you can scrub this off and actually fire it up and turn this into iron very quickly. This you can't. Magnetite is a whole different story than hematite. And that's what this is. And that is supposedly from the moon. And this is about <laughs> Noah's flood. And I understand this intimately. I can, I could, if I had that in my hand, I could prove virtually without doubt that that was from a living human being or from a living creature with a fingertip just like ours and an apical tuft at the end just like ours and hematite and, uh, I mean, hematite and magnetite, which is red blood and black, well, expanded blood. It's Fe202 and Fe203. One of them is your vein blood, one of them is your artery blood. And I understand this so well now, it's just absolutely amazing. We're going to be doing some stuff in a microscope. We're going to be looking at different concentrations of minerals and metals. That, that, like I said, there's black blood, there's red blood. And there's different areas, like in this fingertip. This is a gigantic fingertip. You see that orange-looking stuff? I don't know if you can see it or not in the microscope. But that's an orange-looking color. And it's also up here where the tendons invest up at the top. That's where the apical tuft is. You see the tendon, tendon, tendons. And it, th this is all, all chemistry needs to be understood. And the other thing is, whoops, I just showed you, um, oh my. I'm telling you my friends, this is Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University, and my life is just unbelievable. Things fall into place like it's just it's it, it, something's going on here i can't figure it out yet but i will <laughs> colon college of engineering university of houston from toxic ions to single atom copper ions mean something that has extra electrons which are going to interact with things single atom copper means it's, it's, it doesn't have those extra electrons now th they went into caves and they found in these caves, these mines, they found this bacteria. And the bacteria converted the copper to a zero-valent copper, which is a regular metal. Now, listen to this. This is just unbelievable. I just, I just can't get over it. The idea of having bacteria, which I study the bacteria in detail. The bacteria in mines is not new. But the unanswered question was, what are they doing in the mines? They're doing the same thing they're doing in the mines as they're doing in your body. They're converting different molecules into other molecules. That's what they do. Elegantly, beyond what we can do. And they admit it right here. It says, uh, Robles said, by putting the bacteria inside an electronic microscope, we were able to figure out the physics and analyze it. We found out the bacteria was isolating single atom copper, pulling that out and, and, and grabbing it out. In terms of chemistry, this is extremely difficult to derive. Bacteria create enzymes. Enzymes are chemistry sets that are so elegant, it's unbelievable. That's why they can do these things. Typically, harsh chemicals are used in order to produce single atoms of any element. You have to go in and just tear them apart. This bacteria, though, is creating it naturally. It's very impressive. <laughs> copper, and I was going to do a, a whole thing on copper, and then I got this. Somebody sent me this saying, look, the bacteria is creating copper. Now, I want to show you something. I have this right here. You see that orange? I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the, in the camera. I hope so. That orange color, I think, might be this copper being concentrated where tendons come in. And there's more tendons come in up here. You see the little orange spots and the orange spot here? That's where these tendons lock in. And that's tendons here. 
And I have other ones that have tendons in them that have the exact same colors. So is it something that, I don't know whatever that chemistry is, it might not be copper, but whatever that color is, it represents some special type of chemistry. See the same color here? That's where that, this is, this is a lung. This has been a DNA certified human. And I believe wherever these things tag into the, like, tenderness, really heavy duty, because that's where it invests in your body. That holds it from going around in the body. And I believe that's got something to do with that color. And we're going to look at it in the microscope and see if it's the same as what this is. And it's in these areas where you have tendons. We're going to look at all this in the microscope. And this has been DNA certified as human, too. Well, not this particular piece, but it came out of the same hole with the rest of it. I have all, the whole hand. I have all kinds of parts from this. And uh, so anyway, we're going to go look at all this stuff in the microscope. i got a microscope all set up. And I even have new species of humans that are, have the... Um, like this right here, the no-toes. And these will also have tendinous material here and there that I hopefully will be able to see. Now this one isn't broken down to where the tendons are. But you see this here? You see these springs? Well, you won't, won't see them on this one. But you see the curve here? These have springs. You see that? This is the same thing as that. They have springs built into them. That's the heel. This is like the opposite. It's supposed to be like this. That's the heel bone. That strap runs right up to the, to the leg that comes down, sticks straight up. And these springs come to the front. And that's what gives the foot the ability to come up and come back down. It's like a spring. And, so, and I will be able to see that inside of tissues. This is from Tish Egerton. She's, she found a whole slew of these things. Now, I think that right there might also be, you see that color right there? I think that might be from where a tendon comes down. Her stuff has tendons in them too. I can find that same color in hers. You see that spot right there? I can find the same color in hers where tendons, where I know where tendons should be. And they are there. Because there's going to be tendon coming down to your foot, coming straight up. So there should be something I can find, and I think I can see them in here. So we're going to look at it in a microscope. But this is all new. This is all brand new stuff. A whole new technology, well, not technology, a whole new science, basically. And um, there's a lot to understand about this. And already we've made some discoveries that change a lot of things in in the health realm too. It's pretty pretty amazing that this has been overlooked for so long, but it's time to really investigate it. I think this is the time to, to make it right. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, thank you. I love you. Let's get started. We're going to go into copper and look at these tendons in a microscope and just have fun. We're going to be looking around. I got, oh, I got a ton of stuff. Look, I got all this stuff down here. We can look at all of this stuff in a microscope. See? See, and even this, that, believe it or not, is a toe. And that's the callus on the guy's toe. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And you see the colors? You're seeing the same sort of colors. And in, in, in your toes and your fingers, you have, what's, you have these things like this. And all of those balls are tendons, and they lock in there. And that makes it so that you can do all this stuff. And they, I believe those are the colors from that tendon. That's not blood. There's going to be places where there is blood, but that's not the color of blood. That one might be. I don't know. We have to look at it in a microscope and see. But I can tell you that's the, that's the guy's callus. Now, we should be able to find some characteristics that came down to hold this, because I believe that's the, the ball. It's the same balls like this here. See? Same sort of thing. Anyway. We'll look into it.